Let's start off with the geopolitics side of things. I mean, this is a huge challenge for President Moon. He has this sunshine policy. He doesn't want to attract more ire from Beijing, uh, as has been done by Assad. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of pressure from Trump and, and Washington. That's absolutely right. There's a lot riding on this meeting for both presidents. And uh, Moon Jae-in does take a very different uh, approach than the Trump administration has articulated so far. Uh, and so it's going to be a challenge to find at least some common ground. Uh, but at the same time, I think President Moon knows that he needs to get off on the right foot with President Trump. This has to be a successful visit. The alliance between uh, our two countries is so vital for the security of South Korea that he can't afford to, uh, to alienate the U.S. president. So I think they'll focus on what they agree on, which is that we need to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. But uh, hopefully uh, they won't get into uh, serious arguments about the right tactics for getting there. What's the best case scenario in terms of the outcome for these talks? Because there's, some, there's been some concern that we don't quite know who's driving foreign policy out of Washington. And, and certainly some of the past examples regarding Syria, for example, it feels like very much an emotionally driven policy stance taken by President Trump. Well, the best case is first that the two presidents uh, develop a decent uh, start to a personal relationship, but also that they uh, you know, talk honestly about the different approaches to, uh, to dealing with North Korea. I don't think it's impossible to find some overlap. President Trump and his administration have said they don't rule out dialogue with the North, but uh, you don't want to reward provocative behavior. The conditions have to be right. Uh, so President Moon needs to be a little bit careful about not pushing too far too fast for his vision of how to engage with North Korea. Uh, the North Koreans basically reject just about every offer that they're presented with anyway. So uh, it's much more important to get on the same page with the United States for President Moon than uh, to try to score some quick, uh, quick results from this first meeting.